And heating companies are swamped with calls about furnaces not keeping up in these extremely cold temperatures. Yeah, Fox 2's Catherine Hessel talks with one local company about how to avoid being caught with no heat. More so than ever, these extreme temperatures have us cranking up the heat as soon as we walk in the door. Furnaces all over the metro area are ramping up. Jeffrey Vitt with Vitt Heating and Cooling says right now they are the busiest that they have ever been. Our phones haven't stopped since Friday. Um, I mean, it's 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 the most uh, as many calls as I've ever seen in a given period of time. People are calling because their furnaces have stopped working or they're not keeping up anymore. Vit says one of the first things to check the furnace filter. Maintenance is a huge uh, a huge thing. Um, we're finding that there's a lot of filters out there that haven't been replaced. Vit says filters need to be replaced every month or every three months. And beyond that, the best thing is to get on a regular service plan. We come out twice a year, once in the spring, once in the fall. Um, that's, that's really what should be done. But to handle the situation now, employees at Vit are working 18-hour shifts, doing emergency installs and whatever else they can. They're working pretty much around the clock to, to try to you know, restore as many people's heat as, as, as possible. Another quick tip from Vit, don't vary your temperature too much. Try to keep it within a two to three degree range. That'll help your furnace from having to work even harder right now. Reporting, I'm Katherine Hessel.